Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well this morning. Um, you know, guys, I was thinking we had um, we did the Christmas in July, and what what are we today? The last day of July, maybe. I haven't even looked at my at my um at the date because I don't work, so I don't keep track of the date. But I know that this month is either over or almost over. And, you know, and I was thinking, you know, I've created all month for Christmas in July. But not once did I create something that was Christ inspired. Shame on me. Really shame on me. Uh, but I do have some things that I created last year and that I don't think I ever shared on YouTube. So I wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to share uh, the products that I used to create that, you know, Sometimes we get so busy in life, and I'm guilty of the same thing, you guys, um, that I get so wrapped up in my crafting or whatever I'm doing that I really forget, you know, that who created me and who gave me the gift of creativity, if not the Lord, you know. And um, today when we went to prayer, you, you know, I was thinking about that. I was thinking, wow, Ida, you never, not once all this month did you create something you know, that was Christ inspired to always, you know, keep the Lord first in everything that I do. I should always keep the Lord first. But like you guys, I'm made of flesh. And sometimes, you know, um, I get distracted and I get too wrapped up in life. And that's when I kind of have to, I guess I'm glad that, you know, we open for prayer on Sundays and all that, because that kind of brings me back, you know, because I never want to, you know, take my creator for granted, you know, and a lot of times, you know, we don't even think about it. It's just something that slips our mind. But I never want to do that. I always want to come back to the Lord because in reality, you know, I appreciate all the kind words and everything. But, um, you know, the gift of creativity comes from the Lord. So the glory belongs to the Lord, not to me, you know, and I don't never want to rob the Lord of his glory. You know, but with that being said, you know, I really always, like I said, want to bring the Lord back into this. And I am, I think I'm going to, I'm not sure, but I think we're going to do some kind of collaboration. Uh, I don't know how many of us there's going to be. I don't even know. We're just like in the beginning of it. But I believe that the S Factor Studio, who is Sabrina here on YouTube, uh, on YouTube, she's the S Factor Studio. Her name's Sabrina. And we've been talking about doing some type of Christ-inspired collaboration for crafting. Uh, but I don't know all the details yet, guys. Or maybe I misunderstood what she was saying to me. Nonetheless, you guys, I want to share the cards that I made last year for uh, for Christmas. That uh, I actually probably did create them in July. And I never even gave them out, you guys. I made other ones and gave out, but I didn't give these out. But I want to share them with you guys. Anyway, um... Uh, these are a couple of the uh, dies that I use. This one is by Echo Park and it's curved and it says wise men still seek him. And here it is, guys. It's pretty big. Look at how big that is. I mean, that's that's pretty big. Um, let me let me grab my ruler really quick. And I, I do tend to buy a lot of things that are I'm not going to call them religious because God is not a religion, uh, but they are Christ inspired. So, um, it's all the way across, you guys. Look, it's six and three quarter inches. Um, uh, little over six, a little over, I'm going to say six and five eighths inches all the way across, you guys. So, this is a pretty substantial die. So, when you're using this, of course, your project, your card has to be pretty big. Or you can cut it up, but I chose to use it this way. And I absolutely love this. And like I said, I always, I'm always uh, buying Christ inspired, um, uh, dies and then another one that I use with this who is this one by Jenny Long which is the fold along thinlet and it's the ornament and I did try the ornament this way and I didn't really care for it but I do like the ornament so I use the ornament in this maybe I, I need to try it again because I really didn't care for it too much but there's some elements elements in here that I do like so those are the two dies that I used and I'm going to show you the cards that I created um Hold on one second, guys. Okay, here's one that I created using that die, uh, the Jenny Long uh, fold-along ornament die. And then here's the wise man still seek him. 
and I absolutely love it. And this comes from that Jenny Long uh, die as well. This holly right here with the berries. And look at how pretty this is, you guys. Now, I put this on cream-colored cardstock. It's cream-colored, and it's 110 pounds. So this is this has got a nice weight to it, you guys. So I did a, uh, like I said, a cream-colored cardstock. This uh, card is pretty big. Uh, it measures, I'm going to tell you right now. It measures seven and a half inches, you guys, by mm, six and five eighths, looks like, or six and a half. And uh, so it's a six and a half by seven and, what did I say? Seven and a half? Yeah, I think I said, yeah, by seven and a half. So this is a really nice card, you guys. And even the gold paper that I'm using here is a 110 pound card stock. And I've got a couple of layers of different squares right here, pierced uh, rectangles. And then I have this uh, burgundy marbleized like with black in it. And then this plaid color right here comes from a Christ-inspired paper pad, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have um, this stamp, guys. So this script was already in the paper that I use. And I stamped the uh, nativity scene in the on the ornament. And I mounted it on a uh, dimensional tape. But what I did was that I cut this uh, burgundy square smaller. And then I centered the ornament that I wanted to cut out. Which is the fold along that goes with this one. And all I did, you guys, was I kind of uh, spaced it. I have spaced it apart. But before I did that, underneath I put this plaid layer. And then I, uh, so I put a rectangle of plaid layer. Or at least one that would encompass this uh, this die cut I was going to put in here. And then I cut uh, the, the red piece or the burgundy piece. I centered the ornament die and I cut it. And when I mounted it, I, I spaced it out. So you could see the plaid and the shape of the ornament. And then I did the other ornament on top. And I did with my gold pen. I went around the edges and then I used the metallic mirrored car stock here. And this feels pretty sturdy, you guys. And then I put the little holly spray right here with the berries. But it's, it's beautiful, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. And I never gave it to anybody. And here's what it says. Today in the city of David, a Savior has been born. To you, he is Christ the Lord. And that's in Luke, guys. Looks like 2.11. And, um, and I, um, like I said, I never gave it to anybody, but this was one of my Christ inspired, um, cards that I made. So this year, these will definitely be going out, but I, I really like this. And this idea came, uh, from, um, what is her name? Jennifer McGuire. I think I saw a video. She didn't do this exact one. She used some other design, but when I saw that, I thought I could do this with this ornament card. And I love the way it came out, you guys. So that's one of the ones that I created. And then the other one that I created, again, it's very similar. I did it in the craft colored cardstock. And and this time I did more than the just the two layers. I layered the gold and then the burgundy and then the gold again and then the burgundy. And also in the pierced rectangle. Uh, the gold's in, uh, cut out with the pierced rectangle. And I... Um, I did cut out the ornament and the burgundy back here, but I spaced it out only a little bit so you can see the plaid edge only just a little bit because this was my first one. No, this was my second one. And um, and then again, I did the, the paper I have. This paper was in the paper pad, and I don't remember which one it is. I, I think I still have it, but I'm not sure. And then I did the hollies again with the berry. So it's the same concept. I just added more layers to it. And then on the inside... I did the same thing and here's that piece of that plaid you guys that I uh, mounted on the uh, on the front underneath the ornament here's the burgundy and then here's the cream and I embossed this in uh, gold and then here's the little plaid right here I absolutely love these two cards so definitely these two will be going out this year to some of my crafty friends and then I made um, there's two more that I did similar you guys and uh, this is one of them. And I believe this is a bow bunny paper. And it's Christ inspired again. It says pray for others. It's got the crosses, strength, amen. And then here's another stamp, you guys, that I used. And this stamp is by um, 
Heartfelt Creations, and it's again the nativity, and says it's his name is Jesus, and it's got the banner there and the baby in a manger. And um, I I did the same thing on this one, you guys, but I cut several pieces. You see all these colors, this one, the green one, the blue one, and the gold one. Those are all uh, pieces that I cut, and I cut the ornament in there in the middle, and then I split the paper down the middle where I could separate it and. Um, just uh, kind of stagger it so you could see the, all the colors. But I think this came out beautiful. Again, in the star right here, I put a bling piece. Here is that uh, little uh, gold piece to the top of the ornament. And then I just added a, a ribbon, a gold uh, wired ribbon bow with some little bells and a little uh, light bulb and uh, some little uh, like a snowflake uh, spring. So, and then right here it says Noel, and this is also in that die, you guys. So I think it's really pretty, and it, this one says, May you find the gentle peace of Christ the Lord in the hush of this holiday season. And I believe that's a wood-mounted stamp, and there's the back. I didn't put nothing, my stamp or anything in the back, but this was definitely one of the ones I created. And the... Um, and the ornament is on dimension, on dimensional tape, so it's lifted up. So that's another one. And then I did um, a blue one. Look at this blue one, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. It's the same concept. It's got different colors. Again, this is another paper line, but also Christ-inspired. Here's the nativity scene. And this stamp I bought at Hobby Lobby, It's and it's a wood-mounted stamp. And after I had put this blue piece on here, I thought, that looks kind of plain. And so what I did, I put it, the other piece, I ran it through my embossing folder. And even though one is and one isn't, I love the way this looks, you guys. Uh, I think it gives it so much because, it, you know, it's so totally different from one half to the other. But somehow it works. And then here's the Noel. This is what comes out. Now, the ones you saw over on this card is the inset of this. So this is the outer, and uh, I don't let anything go to waste, you guys. You already know that I don't squander my blessings. So uh, I use this piece right here. And uh, look at how beautiful that is, you guys. And let me see. Yes. This one says the same thing. And here's that paper line again. And uh, I still have that paper pad. I believe that paper pad came from Hobby Lobby, you guys. Because I believe that the owners of Hobby Lobby are Christians. The other two cards that I want to share with you, um, let me take it out of here. I used uh, some stamps by Stamping Up, and uh, they're the big font, the big font letters, guys. And look at how beautiful this looks, you guys. How beautiful is that? The way I did this was I stamped whatever I wanted on my white piece in the navy blue and the shadow of like Jerusalem or Bethlehem. And uh, the star, I did put everything where I wanted, you know, I stamped here, Jesus is the reason for the season. And that's also a wood mounted stamp, you guys, if I'm not mistaken. And it does say Jesus right here, but I kind of covered up uh, Jesus with um, a sticky note and embossed everything else. Uh, that way, when I stamped it on there, Jesus didn't have any of the embossing glue on it on there and I was uh, because I wanted to cut out Jesus with the letters so after I stamped it I placed my letters where I wanted them with some washi and then I ran it through my machine and I put dimension on top of it so I have a navy piece at the bottom and then I have the white and you can see kind of the shadow of the navy inside but all these letters are on dimension you guys and look at how pretty they look it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I kept it very simple. I added just this little trim that matches the card color. Here's the navy blue layer. And then there's the white layer where I stamped on. And I don't think this one has anything in it. And this is a pretty big one too. Now this stamp set is a Stamping Up stamp set that is retired. And I just happened to find it uh, very economical. Either on eBay or on Etsy like for $25 and I had to just jump and grab it because I had been looking for it for a while and everybody had it at an outrageous price but I was able to find it in a reasonable price. So that's one of the ones that I did and I love this card. And uh, you can use that to make like personalized cards as well you guys but I wanted to keep mine like I said Christ inspired. And then I did a smaller version of that of that one where um 
because all these are separate stamps so you can space them out as far as you want or as close as you want and like I said this is a stamping up set that is retired now but look at the word joy right here guys the same concept and then it says wise man still wise men still seek him how pretty is that you guys again I did the navy blue and then the white and I stamped uh, I stamped the uh, the wise men and uh, baby Jesus and the shepherds in the in the navy blue and then in the the back back here the Jerusalem I did it in um, in black but it wasn't uh, very dark like my pad was getting old so it's very light and then the star of cur of course and then I lined up the word joy you know because it's joy to the world the king has come or the king is born and um, and I put that up on dimensionals as well. And there's nothing on the inside. But I think this is so plain, so simple. But there's something about it that is so pretty. It, just the simplicity of it. Sometimes, like I always tell you guys, less is more. So in this case, less is more. And I really like this card. So I just wanted to share this with you guys before I get ready for church. Because... Uh, you know, I was really thinking about that, that not once did I create something that was Christ inspired. And like I said, um, I say Christ inspired because I don't call them religious stamps or, you know, I've heard people call when they buy something that is Christ inspired, you know, whether it be paper or stamps, they call it religious. Well, God's not a religion, you guys. He is not a religion. I don't care what church you go to. I don't, I, it, for me, it doesn't matter. And I'm sure that it, for the Lord, it doesn't matter. It matters what's in your heart. Are you really a disciple of Christ? And, um, and if you are, you will know that Jesus Christ is not a religion. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone's getting ready for church. You know, the word says um, a lot of times we um, get so busy in life and we walk away from the Lord. But the word says that the Lord will never take back his calling. So if that's you and you walked away from the Lord, remember that the Lord never takes back his His calling. He's not double minded like some of, some of us are. And I'm going to say us because it's me included, you guys. I'm not perfect. I'm in the flesh like everybody else, but but God is not double-minded. And when he calls you with his holy calling, no matter how long it takes you to come back to him, he's waiting with open arms. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone has a great day today. And I hope that you guys uh, will seek the Lord in, in every day, guys, not just when you... When something's going wrong in your life, but even when things are going good through the hills and the valleys, guys, we should always seek the Lord because he's always there. He never leaves us alone. Um, but you guys that are real Christians, you know what I'm talking about. I want to thank you guys for watching. Really, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And remember, anytime that we create anything, I don't care who you are or how good you are at it. The glory belongs to the Lord. And that's where the glory should go. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.